All right guys, so I wanna go over a quick, uh, a cool back take uh, from the turtle, uh, being able to get the hooks in. Sometimes it's hard to get the hooks on someone who's all clammed up. So what I wanna do is uh, what we used to call uh, the Henzo roll, right? Um, it's a way to roll the guy over and get the hooks in. Uh, there's two variations of this. Uh, we call it the Henzo roll because back in the day, the Henzo, and of course, obviously, was uh, really awesome at doing this and his guys. And then there's a variation of it that uh, we, I call the Seneca roll which is the way Elio Seneca does a very similar position. So I'm gonna roll over both, all right? And I, they're both awesome, so I, a lot of people uh, at a high level do both, and they both work great, so. All right, well, so the Henzo roll is this right here. I'm gonna be starting off on the back position, right? I have my uh, seatbelt grip, and what I wanna do is, I, I'm gonna, like, the, per, the way both of these work is I have to get pressure on the back of his head and push his nose to touch his chest. Right, if I can push his nose to touch his chest, he'll want to roll, all right? So what I'm gonna do here is, I got my gable grip underneath, my shoulder's gonna come over the top, right? So what I'm gonna do for the Henzo roll version is I'm gonna roll straight off the top, in line with it, right? Now if you see, I'm holding my gable grip really tight, of course in real life, if I'm stopping here to talk, I wouldn't be stopping, but I have the shoulder pinned on the back of his head and I'm driving that shoulder pressure to make his nose touch his chest. And when I come across, I'm also gonna pull him and drive my shoulder and catch him right here. Boom. Let's do this side. One way this way. Same thing. One in the back, right? I'm gonna put that shoulder across the back. I slide straight off the front in line. I'm not uh, at an angle at all. It's a straight line, he's gonna roll straight on top. Right here, shoulder back, up, boom, pop. Maybe one straight towards the camera. Sure. Okay, here, here, right? I have my grip, right? Maybe he's defending his neck. I'm gonna pop over the shoulder, pop up, boom. I get the back. It's the Henzo roll. It's the Neca roll, very similar. The Seneca variation is a little bit different. The idea is the same, pressure on the head, get the nose to touch the chest, get him to roll. But my body position is gonna be a little different, so watch. Instead of, like, don't roll, hold him. So uh, instead of diving off the front, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a quick hip switch. It's hard to do without going. But if you notice how that hip switch is, right here, right here, I come up, hip switch. Ah. And my shoulder goes to the floor. So now, when I go to take them over, I'm not going to take him straight over because we're like a T. If you notice, if, I, if he did a forward roll, he would roll off me because my legs were this way and he would roll that way. So what I have to do is, when he starts to come, I have to turn him and steer him into my legs. Boom. Oh, you're gonna go on this way, right? Boom. Another variation right here. I don't know if you can tell from that angle, but if you notice, uh, when he came over, I pulled him and then turned him to catch into my legs. Boom, we're here. I'm gonna turn, boom, and I have my position. So both techniques use the same mechanic, driving the head, force the nose to the chest, get them to roll. I'm not using a lot of strength to roll them, they wanna roll. So they're gonna roll on their own. I have to uh, steer them where I want. With the Henzo roll, it's a straight line. With the Seneca roll, I'm turning more like a T, and I have to steer them into my hooks. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome, thanks.